Assalamu alaikum guys. Today I'm going to be showing you two apps that you can find in Jordan um, that I have never used before and that I'm really excited to try out. Um, I'm going to get into that in a minute though because first I have recently discovered the most amazing little bakery that does everything handmade and me and Adham now have this um, little routine that once a week we go and we get this bread um, and we have some hummus and things with it and it's amazing so stay tuned for the apps but first breakfast breakfast is over it was amazing the bread is so fluffy and hot and fresh it's very different to the machine made ones um, but I would highly recommend I can't wait to try a proper sandwich with them but let's move on and talk about those apps and let's just pretend like I'm not standing on the inside of my curtain to try and get some good lighting <laughs> so the first one I want to talk about is washi wash and I heard about this app through living in Jordan as an expat.com it's a website that has got all kinds of different resources about general life living in Jordan so there's reviews um, there's suggestions there's recommendations for restaurants for kids activities for everything and they did a blog post about apps that are available here I'll put a link in the in the comment in the in the description below so washi wash is an app for um, collecting and delivering uh, dry cleaning so they do ironing they do rug cleaning they do duvet cleaning they do everything there's meant to be some kind of eco-friendly technology that they're using so I'm really excited to try it okay so here I got five hung shirts I actually got ten because when I got to the checkout there was five dinars off because I'm a first-time user um, but usually without the discount there's an extra discount on there it's 750 so if I go to my orders and have a look. So yeah, as you can see, that usually would have been 13 dinars and with the first order reduction, it's eight dinars. So I placed an order for it to be collected this evening and to be um, delivered in 48 hours. That was the soonest that they could do without paying extra, I think. Now, the second app that I wanna talk about today is a governmental app. It is called Bhtamtikum. Sorry, that was so ugly. I don't know how to pronounce it, but let's have a look at what we've got here. Okay, so it's this one here. And you've got various options. Ask the government a question, make a suggestion, give a compliment, make a complaint or report corruption. I want to make a complaint about an uncovered manhole on my street. So I press make a new complaint. There are so many ministries to choose from. Um, and I had to look up some of these um, because they're not all really clear. So yeah, you've got so many. I'm just gonna go with Amman City. You can here um, see the, the minister for Amman City and I'm going to write in here what my complaint is. So there, partially uncovered manhole on pedestrian walkway. And then we're going to go to specify the location. Um, oh, okay. This doesn't seem to work. Let's try one more time. Yeah, this doesn't work. That's a real shame because I was really looking forward to that being really super, um, super tech. Oh, and like this has got really small as well. That's funny. Try one more time. No. Oh, this gets smaller each time. Where's it gone? Where are my words gone? Do you see that? Oh, that's so weird. Oh, they've got some bugs. Okay, so I'll have to put the location in manually, which is always fun. Um, and can I take a picture? Awesome. So I'll take a picture and I will add it in here. And um, then I'll submit my complaint. And from what I understand, the department has got a minimum of something like 72 hours to get back to me personally. Um, otherwise, the minister has to get back to me. So 
let's see if this works and if I can get this manhole covered up so that my son doesn't break his foot. Okay guys, I have just received my clothes. They just turned up. I didn't actually know that they were on their way, although it was scheduled between five and seven and it is 10 past five, so that's pretty good. Although I did ask for collection to be between five and seven, two days ago when I ordered, um, and they actually turned up at quarter to four, which was just lucky that I was home. But anyway, yeah, so it's here. It's all here. It looks, it looks good. I mean, what could, oh! I didn't see this bag. Let's have a looky here. Yeah? Hang on, I'm making a video. I'm trying to make a video. Okay. So this has come with it. I guess that's for free. This is a bag that says washy wash, eco clean, the healthy alternative to dry cleaning. Um, I actually didn't know that dry cleaning was unhealthy. Okay, here's my little tag that I guess I'll add each time I send away for my dry cleaning. And then I don't have to give them a disposable bag each time. Let's open it up and have a look. So ultimately, I mean, iron clothes look like iron clothes. There's not much you can say, but I do wanna say, have a look at how neat that collar is. I am quite impressed with that because that's not kind of the level that our local dry cleaner is at. Overall, really happy with the service um, and I'm really happy that the clothes hopefully aren't going to fall apart if I use this service. I'm just not convinced about the price. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't pay 15 dinars for that. Um, 8 dinars felt a little bit um, awkward, but 15 for 10 shirts. I don't know, we'll see if I wanna continue with them or not. But I'm really excited about the, the eco-friendly bag. I think that's probably the best, the best part out of it all is that you get a free bag. The only thing that I would say is that I don't feel like it was necessary to have a separate plastic case for each shirt. Why not just put them all in one kind of reusable bag? But how about we go and have an update about the government app over here? Hi guys, so here's an update of what happened with my complaint. So I made the complaint, they rang me twice within the same week and I missed both phone calls, so they closed the complaint. I reopened the same complaint with all the same details and everything. They rang me in the same day, I missed the phone call and they closed the, the complaint because you can't ring back on their numbers. So third time's a charm, I made another complaint and apologized that I kept reopening the complaint. And um, they rang me the same day and I walked out of a class to answer the phone. I was determined that I wasn't gonna miss this phone call. So there's probably like, um, I don't know, a week later that I finally got through to them. Um, and you know, three complaints later. Not their fault at all, my fault. Um, so they rang me in the middle of a class. I walked out of the class, answered the phone. Of course, she didn't speak English. I don't speak Arabic. So I tried using really like just the most bizarre keywords I could, I could think of to explain that there's a manhole that's open in the ground. I said, Fiduar, there is a circle. Not a manhole, a circle. Fiduar, fi ard. There is a circle in ground, is what I said. Um, and needless to say, she didn't know what the hell, oh, and I kept saying, Khattar, Khattar. She really, she had so much patience with me. I don't know why she wasn't laughing at me. Maybe she thought it was a prank. Um, but eventually I got it through to her that there was a video and that she could watch the video attached to the complaint. She went away, she watched the video, she referred my case to the water department. The water municipality rang, this woman did speak English and um, I explained the case to her and she asked for a specific address. I texted her a detailed address in Arabic and then just now, um, a private company, so the water has been like semi-privatized, a private company called Your Our Water, it's like, I've just forgotten the name, but yeah, Our Water rang, and um, they are dealing with a complaint now, and then they're gonna come and hopefully close the manhole. <laughs> I could have done it myself, um, but I just wanted to see how this system works. Hi guys, it's the next day, it's Sunday, and I have spoken to three different people today. So the first one, a guy rang and he realized pretty quickly that I'm not speaking Arabic very well. So he switched to English, which was fantastic. He asked me what the problem was. I explained it to him. I think I've 
explain this problem to like five different people now more than that um but he was really polite and he asked me what the problem was asked me for the directions and everything and i gave them to him and he was in an office he's obviously passed that on to some workmen and they just rang me they passed the phone around trying to work out who could understand what i was saying um and eventually they they did understand me they were so patient with me and so polite um, they really tried hard to understand one guy who had spoken to my husband yesterday because I finally gave in and just handed the phone to my husband um, This guy said to me, is it possible to speak to your dad again or is your mum available? <laughs> like I, I, I'm not a child I swear I am the mum <laughs> But he was really sweet and when I corrected him, was that funny? When I corrected him, he was really, really nice about it. So, um, inshallah, they're sending someone right now. Um, you know, in Jordan, you don't have addresses. So, um, oh, wow, there's poo all over me. Okay. In Jordan, you don't have addresses. So, um, it makes it really difficult. I'm going to change this boy. <laughs> Bye. Oh. Ah, he was good. He, he understood me. He fully. understood you fully. Obviously, I gave up and brought in the pros because I got so confused about what was going on. He kept saying, Khatar, Khatar. And I was saying, yeah, exactly, do something about it. So in the end, I gave up and my father-in-law rang him. The problem is that I don't speak Arabic. So I could have told them from the very beginning, the first person that I spoke to, what the exact problem was, if I could have done it in English. Um, so they've wasted a load of time um, because I didn't, I didn't speak, you know, but the thing is, the thing that surprises me the most about all of this is that it seems really inefficient. This is so efficient. This is so, like, they were ringing me within the same day of me making the complaint and they have sent people out. They took my complaint seriously and they've sent people out and they're taking me seriously. They haven't given up on me because I don't speak Arabic. Um, yeah, it's, it's a really good service. It's just that um, it's not designed for people who don't speak Arabic. Hey guys, I wanted to wrap up um, while I was standing next to the manhole, but it was just way too windy. Um, so I will just do a little summary now and finally end this video because it's going on for too long. Basically, essentially, I made the complaint, like the actual official, like my third complaint, but the, the actual complaint on the 14th of October, I think it was. By the 20th, they had sent people out and they had moved the manhole, sorted it all out um, and they have arranged for somebody to come and actually cement it back in because the, the fitting around it is broken. Um, so that's really great. They haven't actually closed the complaint yet on the app because obviously they, um, they want to do that extra stuff. But for me, woo, for me, it's done, it's sorted. It's no longer um, dangerous and I am so happy with the way that it turned out and using this this app it worked so nicely feel like this was very effective way of making a complaint i don't think that my local municipality in england would have dealt with it so fast and would have been so polite and so on the ball so thumbs up really happy with that all right thanks guys Ma